welcome student in this lecture we show that k6 is planar on torus of genus 1 k6 is a complete graph of order 5 in previous lecture we proved that k5 is planar on torus of genus 1 if you want to watch that lecture you can find its link in the description so k6 is planar on torus of genus 1 what is torus of genus 1 torus of genus 1 is a surface of donut so we have a donut like shape here just if we consider the surface of this donut or a surface of tie tube uh, it is the example of torus of genus 1 first we modify this shape which is torus of genus 1 if i cut this tube tie tube or torus of genus 1 shape and separate its both end we will get a shape like a pipe a pipe like shape and remember if we join these two edges of this pipe both end of pipe again we will get this torus of genus 1 so this is modified form of torus of genus 1 i also modify this pipe if i cut this pipe this way and separate its upper and lower edges then we will get a plane like shape so from torus of genus 1 we can find a plane and from a plane we can get a torus of genus 1 if you have a plane or uh, if you have a piece of paper if you join its lower and upper edge left and right edge again you will get a surface like torus of genus 1 now we try to draw k6 on this plane which is modified form of torus of genus 1 first we choose six vertices vertex 1 vertex 2 3 4 5 now we take six vertices uh six vertex on this corner corner point remember these corner vertex is a one vertex this is not these are not four vertices because if we join this lower edge to the upper edge left edge to the right edge it these all vertices which seems different will coincide and will become exactly one vertex so we have five uh, six vertices vertex 1 vertex 2 vertex 3 4 5 and this is our six vertex i hope you understand this so we have taken six vertices now we join all possible edges in such a way that edge crossing is not allowed so first we join 1 and 2 2 and 3 4 and 5 4 3 1 5 now other possible edges are we can join 5 and 3 we can join vertex 5 uh vertex 3 and vertex 5 vertex 3 and vertex 1 we can also join 5 and 2 but we can join one of these two vertices 1 and 3 or 5 and 2 now these are possible edges now as this graph uh, we try to graph a complete graph of order 
we have to join every vertex to the rest of vertices. Now we join vertex 6 to other vertices. So we join 6 with 1, then 6 with 2, 6 and 3. We can join 4 and 6 and uh, 5 and 6. So 6 is connected to all other vertices 6 and 5. Now we f uh, get other possible edges. Now as 1 is connected to 2, 1 is connected to 5, 1 is connected to 6, 1 is connected to 3, but there is no connection between 1 and 4. We need a connection with 1 and 4. So I draw an edge like this. This is our edge x. And from here I draw another edge as edge x. Remember this is one edge. And when, uh, when we will fold this surface, uh, this uh, plane, this edge will meet this edge. Now I choose one another color as you can see that vertex 1 is connected to all other vertices. Now we move to vertex 2 and connect it to all other vertices as 2 is connected to 6, 2 has connection with 1, 2 has connection with 3 and uh, 2 needs a connection with 4 and 5. So first I join draw an edge and call it as edge y and we need to connect this y to this y. So this edge will meet and vertex 2 will be connected to the vertex 4. So we have connected vertex 2 to the vertex 4. Now I choose one another color and uh, Now we need to join vertex 2 and vertex 5. So from here I draw another edge and call it as edge Z. This edge will meet this edge. This is also our edge Z. So we when, when we will fold this plane, this Z edge will meet this edge. So it will become exactly one edge. This x represents one edge and y represents only one edge. Upon folding this uh, lower and upper sides by joining this lower edge of the plane to the upper edge of the plane and left edge of the plane to the right edge of the plane. Now you can see that all the edges uh, all the vertices are connected. So this is only possible when we draw a graph on torus of genus 1. So K6 is planar on torus of genus 1. And uh, in the next lecture we shall prove that K7 is also planar on torus of genus 1. You can find in the video of K7 in the description. Thank you very much for watching this video lecture.